Welcome, everyone. Uh, happy holidays to one and all. And hey, we're dealing with something that's red and green. We looked at the single disc release yesterday, and now I'm excited to take a look at the three LP release of the music from the this is the original broadcast soundtrack to Freddy's Nightmares, put out by Terror Vision. This one is TV033, uh, obviously, because it released right after the first one. Uh, Grave Face Distribution, Terror Vision, put out such wonderful stuff. Man, if this is anything like the one that we looked at yesterday, it's going to definitely have a whole lot of great stuff. Now, uh, Earl Kess, I believe, is the one who did the artwork for both these albums, and phenomenal work on these. Mad props to the art design of uh, these uh, soundtracks, uh, al albums, covers, and sleeves, and all of that in between. So enough of me babbling, folks. Well, let's drop the needle and take a look at the extended release released on November 12th of 2021 of Freddy's Nightmares the soundtrack. So this is a Freddy Nightmares series soundtrack. We've got, yep, trusty bat blade here so we can crack the plastic oh look at this this is a oh this sucker is thick let's make sure we don't uh damage anything i know i say that every time but it's true i have to tell myself that you know just just to be careful so let's pull this off now all the gram uh yesterday and today 180 gram as you can imagine with these special releases that they do uh and Man, you can just tell you, this is a solid, solid release, uh, weight-wise. Anyway, so here we have, yeah, a wonderful design, just like the previous one, Freddy's Nightmares at the Top, original broadcast soundtrack, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the series. Um, yeah, uh, and again, it's windowed. You got the iconic Freddy claw with the claw marks coming through. And uh, as you can tell, folks, it is windowed again with the sleeve inside. Can't wait to take a look at that. So wonderful. Just, ah, this is, I'm so excited. These, both these releases, I look even better than I imagined they would have been. So uh, the spine on this, as I mentioned, this is a solid, solid thick spine uh, with this trifold uh, album. And yeah, the artwork for the blades circle around to the back and look at the amount of music we have on this one folks we have wonderful stills from the episodes that anthology series that they had uh wonderful logo placement in the middle here and then all these cues and tracks of music some of them uh, we had in the first release which was kind of like a greatest hits from this collection and this has just all kinds of music just like the uh, previous one this is remastered from original uh, uh tapes yes tapes folks uh and oh man yeah it, it i can't believe the amount of music they released on this this is so cool because i used to like i really enjoyed the series so let's take a look at the first gate shall we whoa that's freaking creepy <laughs> Is that creepy? And I love it. Look at that. Uh, no, no, no. Don't touch that dial. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, Freddy and another wonderful picture of Freddy. Look at that artwork, folks. That is just detailed and beautiful and just wonderfully done. And oh, man. Look at that. Here's what's on my mind tonight. And this is going to be on my mind tonight for quite some time. Look at this artwork. This three panel picture. Wonderful claw and the iconic hat. Uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy's Nightmares. Original broadcast in the middle here with the four composers that contributed music to it. This is this is just gorgeous. I I'm, I love it. So let's take a look at the sleeve, shall we? We'll look at the one here first. With it's another. It's a, a slight variation of what we had on the first disc. Uh, release there that we had uh, still Freddy's wonderful mug on there and oh we got liner notes from Nicholas Pike here as well 
uh, which I think are going to be the same as uh, the ones on the previous release. So there's, this uh, looks about to be the same text in that. So we do have that release here. This is green this time instead of red. And a Freddy's Nightmare, the series uh, uh, on here. And let's look at uh, the vinyl, shall we? Oh, static electricity is my enemy. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. That colored vinyl is freaking gorgeous, that pattern. Can't wait to listen to this one. So that's a disc one there, folks, and the sleeve for it. Wonderful colors on the colored vinyl. We'll be listening to that soon. We'll put that back and let's take a look at number two, which is in the middle here. Let me get this out. Uh, sorry, have a little bit of trouble with it. There we go. And just like the other one, they've got the hidden sweater inside. So they even have an artwork on the inside, even if you can't see it. <laughs> That's awesome. Channel 13, another ad screen grab, along with the lack of tracking, uh, uh, you know, images on here, catching that VHS early look. And here's liner notes from... Uh, Gary Scott as well on this one. They chose blue this time, but same logo of picture as that we had on the first sleeve. And let's take a look at this vinyl and see what color we got here. Oh, that's looking like Freddy's skin right there. Look at that. And that side C and <laughs> yes, I love that test pattern. That test pattern is so cool. Uh, and it's very festive for uh, today. So uh, that is wonderful. Can't wait to listen to all three of these discs, actually. So let's put this back now and uh, slide on to the last disc here. All right. And this one, another image. TV, going with the TV thing because it is a TV show. Uh, but yeah, just... Awesome Saturday, Freddy's Nightmare. And it is Saturday. What a coincidence. I, I didn't actually plan it that way, folks. It just happened that way. Uh, so, yeah, that's great. And then uh, here we have track listings for who composed what tracks on which uh, disc sides. So that's great, as well as credits there and credits for uh, Freddy's Nightmare, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the series. Um, so that's cool there. Uh, I would have liked to see maybe liner notes there, but, you know... <laughs> This release is so awesome. The fact they don't have that, that's so minor. And yeah. Oh yeah, now we're really getting in the blood there with the last disc. More tracks and another wonderful artwork there. Oh yeah, folks. This this is so this is an impressive release for a cult TV series that I'm sure some may not even have known it existed. So we are going to go and listen to all this music and then we're going to come back and take a look closer at uh, what tracks we like, the pressing quality and all that fun stuff. So you'll want to stay here, folks. Well, we are back after an uh, extensive amount of time uh, spending with the three vinyls. So, so much music is on here. So much wonderful horror stingers and tracks and, and scoring on this that it's just, it's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful collection. All sounded crisp, sharp, clean, no skips. Definitely uh, the, the colored vinyl uh, sound beautiful. It really did. This is you could tell it was remastered, uh, and yeah, the, the music was very entertaining. I loved Fork Stinger here on side B, along with the other tracks I mentioned from the previous release, which are also on here. Uh, what else do we have on here? Uh, Reality to Dream is a really cool one. Very a lot of dissonance in it. What you know, and and just kind of disturbing, put you on edge. Uh, music there. Uh, then we have uh, Missile Bass. Uh, I forgot which uh, track is. There's so much on here. Missile Bass is a lot of fun to, uh, you know, entertaining. Kind of, they're having a lot of fun with that. And Disco Queen as well on side E. Uh, there it is. Um, <clears throat> definitely. Uh, just all of those tracks. But if you enjoy... Uh, horror music in short bits you're gonna love this and especially man uh this side f 
wow it, like every track every track is creepy actually both of the this si this final disc has so much creepy music on it just so wonderful just, i mean but it's all good it's all good you can tell they're having fun with some of the tracks as fun as the series was which if you haven't check it out if you can find it somewhere because it was very entertaining and there you have it, folks, the extended look at the extended release of uh, the music to Freddy's Nightmare, the original broadcast soundtrack from A Nightmare on Elm Street uh, series. Uh, yeah, it's it's a wonderful pickup. If you like cult, uh, you know, odd additions to your collection, this one is definitely got to be in there because, man, what the work they put in here with everything uh really outdid themselves as i mentioned before sorry i just i am very impressed uh, by this release folks so there you have it thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a great holiday and whatever you're celebrating this weekend enjoy it be safe have fun and spin some vinyl what a better time to uh, spin some vinyl and then during the holiday season. So thank you so much. And remember, until next time, it's not yours. It's vinyl mine. And I'll catch you on the flip side.